Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsToUse.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and quick review of the Canvas Nitro. We have the new device with us. This is called Canvas Nitro or Canvas Nitro, whatever you call it. This comes from Micromax and this is going to be a very affordable smartphone which will come with a very good build quality and a great software as well. I have been testing this phone for the last three to four days and I really like the overall interface of this particular device and the hardware performance of this device is also pretty good. So let's take a look over the box. As of now, this device has not been released as of now in the market, but it will come on 8th that is tomorrow so tomorrow it will launch and you will be able to buy this device from snapdeal it will be available for a price less than 10,000 rupees and i'm not sure about the exact pricing but this is something which i can say as of now so this is how the phone will look like as you can see over there and taking a look over the box we can see that we have the specification for the phone mentioned over there we have a 1.7 gigahertz octa-core processor on this device which is mediatek 6592 i guess we will confirm that and we have 21 Mbps of upload supported on 3G and 5.76 Mbps of download supported on 3G. Again, this device will support 3G and it has dual SIM card slot. We have 5 inch of display which is a high definition display which is 720 to 1280 resolution and we have RAM which is 2 GB of RAM which you will get on this device, 8 GB of internal memory. We have a 13 megapixel autofocus camera at the back which does have pretty good performance when it comes to low light. We have secondary camera which is the front camera which is a fixed focus camera which is also pretty decent to do good quality of video chat. We have all these frequencies of band supported on this one so it supports 3G as well as 2G both and we have high definition video recording as well as playback on this device supported. We have Android 4.4 KitKat on this device. We will tell you the exact version. We do have GPS supported with the help of assisted GPS and the battery inside this device is 2500 mAh. Uh, which is again sufficient to give you around one day battery backup. The model number of this device is going to be A310 as you can see and let's take a look what we have inside the box so that we can do the unboxing and show you all the box contents. So the box again is very simple and sleek I would say uh, which looks good. Again this is not the retail package. Uh, the retail package will be only different with this one because that will have the pricing mentioned because this one does not have pricing being mentioned but again everything will remain the same. So here we have the first thing inside the box which is the canvas nitro. This is how the device looks like. Again the device looks pretty good in terms of the build quality. This is something which I really like and you have a very good leather like finish at the back side which has a texturized design as well which will give you a very good grip. So again it is a leather like back cover which is again plastic but it gives you a great feel just like leather you can feel this particular material and you have a very nice grip when you hold this device in hand. This is how the device looks like from this side at the top we have. So on the edges you can easily see that there are some stitches which are again like fake stitches but again it gives you a very great and premium look to the device we have the blue color variant of this device however this will be available in white color and some other colors as well you can get it in black as well in case you would like to so this is how the phone look like and once we unlock the phone this is how the lock screen look like the lock screen give you shortcut for all the notification which you have on the phone so i can directly launch gmail just by tapping over here and this is how gmail will get launched as you can see the display on this device is one of the best displays i have seen on any other micromax devices so the display is an ips lcd display and it gives you great viewing angle so you can view the display from almost any angle without any issues i do not see any kind of discoloration happening so display is very vibrant and very good in terms of the look and feel on this device has great viewing angles and the sunlight visibility of this display is also pretty good so we will take a look over the device later on let's take a look what we have inside the package apart from the device so we have some extra polythenes over there and again uh, we do have a blink screen which is there on this device which we will just tell you uh, you do have a warranty card so in case you get this thing just read this so that you can understand all that so we have SAR information document over there and the SAR values which are mentioned for this device is uh, okay I don't see the okay SAR values are mentioned over here as you can see so it is 0 0.2 29 weight per kg this is for the head and 0 0.58 weight per kg this is for the body so this is how the SAR values look like apart from this we have some extra advertisement kind of pamphlets we have a user guide 
for this phone which i don't recommend you to read you also get a screen guard which comes within the package there is also one screen guard which will come pre-installed on this device which we have removed so that i can show you the display properly but there is one screen guard which will come pre-installed and there is another which you will get within the package so you don't need to worry about the screen protection let's take a look what we have apart from these things so inside the package we also get these in-ear headphones you can see these are the kind of in-ear headphones which you will get within the package look good and the sound quality from these headphones is also pretty decent however the bass levels were not that high we do have a button over there which is which can be used to make uh, to pick the calls you do have a mic over there but volume controls are not there this is how the audio lead will look like and inside this package we have the charger and the micro usb cable so over here over here we have the charger let me just show you the charger and the output current which will come out from this charger. So this is how the charger will look like and it is a 1 ampere charger as you can see. And you get a micro USB cable is filled which will also come within the package. I can get this thing out here. So this is a standard one, a standard micro USB cable which can be used for data syncing and charging. It is a detachable cable and these are all the things which you get within the package of this phone. So the device looks very good in terms of build quality as I already told you. It has a very good interface this time as well. It has a different kind of software UI which is running on top of Android. I am not sure what they call it but they do have a blink feed kind of a thing which you might have seen on some of the HTC phones just like this one so on this blink feed you can actually see the contents being loaded you have content coming from international publication you have content coming from different news publication you can also customize what kind of content you would like to see you just need to specify what kind of content you would like to see from india or from globally you can actually have facebook and twitter feeds as well so once you uh, configure your facebook and twitter account on this device with the help of this application which is called quick look on so this is the quick look on uh, which actually allows you to see the information coming from different portals in a pictorial representation like this which actually looks very good and once you tap on any of these this will actually open that in a simple interface so that you can read the text you don't need to open this into a browser we have the options over here which includes different kind of modes in which the camera will launch in case you would like to take a front and back shot that means you want to take a front camera shot as well as a rear camera shot you can do that you have a selfie shot as well in which the front camera will launch you have photo and video mode take a look over the overall form factor it is fairly okay in terms of the overall weight this is something i would like to say the thickness of the device is again not very thin but again it does not feel very thick you have rounded edges at the back cover which makes this phone easy to hold in one hand and the rubberized matte finish back cover which also gives you a fake leather finish also makes this device look very premium as well i can remove the back cover so that i can show you the post from the back side as far as connectivity goes so we have the sim card slot over there which will accept micro sim both of them will accept micro sim and the sim card slot one is this sim card slot two is this we have a micro sd memory card slot as well we have the battery on this device which is 2500 milliampere hour battery and here we have the loudspeaker over there as you can see and again if we take a look over the ports and connectivity on the top we have the 3.5mm audio jack we have a secondary microphone as well on this device for noise cancellation and video chat we have a 13 megapixel camera which is an autofocus camera and it can record high definition video we have dual led flash over there and at the bottom we have micro usb port for data syncing and charging we do have a primary microphone over there for voice calling as you can see and on this side we have the power and sleep key which can be easily accessed either you are holding this device in right hand or you are holding it in left hand you have the volume rocker which is on this side both of these buttons are plastic buttons and they also give you good amount of feedback so in terms of the feedback it is good on the front we have the 5 megapixel camera we have the nice metal earpiece we have the proximity and metal sensors over there and we have touch capacity buttons which are there at the bottom and these buttons as far as backlit leds is concerned they do have backlit leds so they will light up uh, whenever you tap on them which is good so you so that you can easily see them in dark room as well this is how the ui look like i have already told you about the lock screen when it comes to the home screen you have like all these home screens you can increase and decrease these home screens and as of now it does not allow me to do that but again you can do it with third party application you also have this uh, extra widgets which will also come preferred so on the software level Microsoft, Micromax has actually done a lot of things on this device to actually make the device uh, smoother and also give you the kind of content you would uh, you would need or you may like to read 
so in that case uh, they have provided this kind of a quick look on quick look on and they have also provided these widgets which actually gives you access to all these applications which will come so you have yatra application you have true caller you have book my show amazon askme.com so with uh, just by the tap of these buttons you can actually launch these application and these application are actually coming pre-installed on this device so let's take a look over the version of android and the notification center first of all this is how the notification center we have installed a lot of games and we will just give you a look about that we do have wireless display supported as you can see on this device we have the toggle for the data connection location data access brightness and we do have support for automatic brightness and economical brightness is also an option which actually saves the reserve um, the brightness level of this particular device so that you can get a better battery backup from this device so let's take a look over the settings as of now and we will take a look over the version of android so when we talk about version of android we have 4.4.2 which is coming preloaded on this device which is a good thing and when it comes to the storage, I can show you the storage scenario as well. On the storage front, this device has 8 GB of internal storage, out of which approximately 5.68 GB is available to the user. But again, we have installed a couple of applications and games, and that is why the available storage is slightly less, but you get around 5.6 GB. So approximately 5.6 GB is something you will get. You also have the option of changing the default write disk. That means you can actually install certain part of the application on the SD card. You can also install applications on the SD card and we will show you that. So once you insert an SD card, you will see the option of changing the default write disk in which uh, some of the application will actually store some part of their data on the SD card and that is how you can actually work on this device when it comes to storage problem in case you face it we have application scenario over there we have 1 GB 2 GB of RAM on this device so 2 GB of RAM is there on this device and out of 2 GB of RAM you, you have around 867 MB of RAM free which is fairly good and you have around 1.1 GB which is being used so amount of free RAM which we have on this device is fairly good and the device is responsive enough we do have display settings over there as you can see on the display settings we can see that we have support for video wallpapers as well so you can set video wallpapers as well on this device which is a good thing we do have other options like brightness toggles we do have support for automatic brightness as we already told you you have economical brightness option as well which I would recommend you to check so that you can actually get a better uh, battery backup from this device you also have a clear motion which is called the video flu fluency enhancer this is something which will make the video playback much smoother on this device so once you check this option you know, the high definition videos will play much better and much smoother without any kind of ad audio or video sync issues so this is something which is uh, i have seen only on this device i have not seen this option on any other op any other micro mac phone or any other android phone till now so taking a look over the location access, you do have support for GPS navigation. You just need to enable this option over there to use GPS navigation on this device. And it works perfectly fine with the help of a switched GPS. But again, in order to lock the GPS coordinates, make sure you are outdoors. Apart from this, we do have the option of sharing internet as well. So you can create a portable Wi-Fi hotspot as well on this device and share the 3G internet, which is definitely a good thing. And you have support for USB tethering and Bluetooth tethering as well. Apart from this, let's take a look over the phone dialer. So we have the phone dialer over there. On the phone dialer itself, we have this dialer which is easy enough to dial any number and when it comes to the video call option we do have that so video call option is there speed dial option is also there and then you have other options which are related to calling when it comes to the messaging application messaging application is again kind of stock android so you can see this is the kind of messaging application you will get but one thing which i really like about this device is that you also get this keyboard which is the swipe keyboard so you have this swift key keyboard which will come pre-installed so the moment you actually set up this device it will give you the option to use a Google keyboard or a Swift keyboard and I selected this keyboard and this keyboard does allow you to do swipe to type so this is something which I really like because this extra keyboard is coming pre-installed in this device without uh, you required to pay anything for it and you do have swipe to type and swipe to type is much smoother and it does give you these suggestions as well at the top however the keys are also pretty big to type they give you a pop-up and you will not face any kind of problem while typing on this device you can always type in the landscape mode as well now let's take a look over the hardware information for this device we have the system information the model number of this device is micromax a310 and when we take a look over the processor we have arm v7 processor clocked at 1.6 gigahertz or 1.7 gigahertz should be very uh, approximately and it is an octa core cpu it is mediatek 6592 chipset as you can see and we have the display resolution over there which is 720 to 1280 and the display resolution on this device is pretty good you have a pretty good pixel density i do not see any pixelation on this device as far as 
of display resolution is confirmed. We have Mali 400 MP2 GPU, which is good. And we have sensors, which includes accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, light sensor. You do not have magnetic field sensor on this device, but GPS navigation works fine on this device. Now, when it comes to multi-touch, this device supports 5-point multi-touch, as you can now let's take a look over the camera UI which we have on this device and the camera UI is a customized camera UI which we can see and as you can see we have the MediaTek kind of camera UI which we have seen on other Micromax phones which are which were running on MediaTek chipset so this one is the same when it comes to autofocus it does have autofocus and you do have a lot of options like live photo mode over there you have the beautification mode as well you have a panorama mode supported as well on this device you do have support for HDR mode as well so you can take photos in HDR mode make sure you don't move the device much in case you would like to take the photo in HDR mode let me just first of all show you the front camera quality so this is how the front camera quality will look like I would say the front camera is pretty decent to do a good quality of video chat and again the video feed is not hazy and unless even if i move the device slightly it does have some kind of stabilization and again you do have fixed focus camera at the front but it does have face detection which will happen once you do a video call from this device and the video quality is pretty good this is something i can say apart from this you do have a selfie mode supported in which you just need to do a v a gesture and then it will take a shot that can also be done with this particular device let me just take a photo of my iPhone 5 uh, over here in this artificial light which is falling on this subject and I have to hold the camera stable for that so we have taken the shot and let me just take this shot without the artificial light and let's see how does it come out and I will just disable the flash over there so I have disabled the flash and again the overall view which I can see on the screen is not was not looking that great but again let me just take a look over both of these photos one by one so this is the one which has been taken with artificial light the photo has came out to be very clear from the 13 megapixel camera on this device the photo has came out to be very clear in terms of details which is something which i really like and again the overall color production of this uh, particular uh, subject is also pretty natural i would say this is not oversaturated this is one of the best picture clarity you can get on a smartphone with the 13 megapixel camera which is good however the one which we have taken without the artificial light this one has also came out to be pretty good su surprisingly in terms of details but in terms of colors it is slightly dark i do not see much of a brightness in this one so photos does come out to be pretty good on this device in light but again if you do not have much amount of light details will be good enough but the photos might be darker but again it is not an issue because i can see the text on the display pretty easily and without any issues i can read it this is how the browser look like on this device as you can see and when it comes to the browser the browser is pretty good it is a stock android browser which you have on this device there are some extra options as well which has been added so it is not exactly like a stock android one but looks good in terms of browsing there is no issue i can do the kinetic scrolling without any issues pinch to zoom is also fluid there is no issue and double tap to zoom is also supported as you can see which does work when it comes to loading any website this browser is good enough to load them and again you do have the option of opening a private browsing mode as well so in case you would like to do the browsing in incognito mode it is supported on this device so now let's take a look over the video playback capability of this device so we so now we are playing a video from our channel and this is a high definition video which we are playing when it comes to the quality at which this video is getting played it is high definition which is good and when it comes to the viewing angles i can show you the viewing angles as well so you can see that the viewing viewing angles on this device are pretty wide you can see the display from almost any angle without any issue which is good i can just give you a preview about the overall sound quality so this is how the overall sound quality will look like So as you might have experienced that the sound is pretty loud but again not too loud on this device and the loudspeaker is actually at the back side which is again not a very great design because if you place it if you place it like this on a table the sound will get muffled but it will not get blocked completely so again the sound is pretty loud but not the loudest and the video playback is definitely very good on this device it can play high definition videos both at 720p and 1080p with so now we are playing this game called Temple Run OZ 
this is a casual game to start with so let me just see how does this device handle this game so in terms of graphics i can see everything clearly without any issues i can see the shadow of the player everything is fine when it comes to the draw distance the draw distance for the game is also pretty good there is no issue with the touch screen as well i can easily control the player and touch screen is responsive as responsive as it can be so this game is running perfectly fine the gravity sensor on the device is also working well that's all from us as far as the quick unboxing and quick review of the micromax canvas nitro as per the specs this device is a pretty decent specs the camera quality is also very good from the rear camera as well as from the front camera the front camera can take very good self shots in case you are looking for that so you can take very good selfies apart from that the browsing experience is good the overall ui even when it has a lot of application which company store the storage on the device is also good and the ui is responsive i do not face any kind of lag on this device so they have actually worked on the ui and when it comes to the ui it does give you a lot of customization options as well so in case you would like to customize the home screen you do have this interface so it looks like that google now launcher is actually working on the top of android on this device we do have di different kind of widgets which you can access in all this is a pretty decent device the kind of price this device will have will be less than 10000 rupees so it makes a pretty good choice to select this phone in case you are looking for a phone which should cost you less than 10000 rupees phone the hardware of the device is good everything of the device is 